Hi everyone, you're welcome to my professor note and this is the third video in which we are doing the previous year's question paper analysis, right? If you want me to upload more videos like this, so make sure you let me know in the comment section, like the video, share it with the other people and make sure you subscribe to the channel because this is something really motivates me to make more and more videos. So let's talk about the first question here. So how often did Richard Steele's Tatler appear every week and how many issues of Tatler in total were published? I hope you know the answer. So if you don't know, let me call the options for you. Two times a week, 171 issues. Once a week, 151 issues. Three times a week, 271 issues. Three times a week, 261 issues. And here's the answer. Tatler was a journal published by Richard Steele in 1709 to January 1711, right? So it was published three times a week, 271 issues in total. So similarly, he with the Johnson started this another journal called the, the Spectator, right? Founded by the Joseph Edison and Richard Steele in England, lasting from 1711 to 1712. The every single uh, issue that they published was in uh, 2,500 words, and total pages they run into is 555. Right. Similarly, we have other most important pamphlets and journal from this period. Uh, another one is the Rambler which is by the Samuel Johnson. It was published on Tuesdays and Saturdays from 1750 to 1752 and total 208 articles were there. Another one which is again started by the Samuel Johnson that is Idler was a series of 103 essays, 12 of them by the Samuel Johnsons and other were contributed by the other writers here. And uh, its date is 1758 to 1760. Right. So in this manner, I have deconstructed and analyzed each and every single question. Right. From 2004 to 2020, 20, I have discussed each and every single question subject and in options in the short, detailed manner with the most important aspects, which is important from your exam point of view. So this is what you get into my notes. If you want to have access to them, I have given the contact below in the description you can contact me there to have the notes all right let's talk about the another question there you get much more than that uh so which of the following descriptions delineate roman eclef novel with key here actually i have uh, given the mark uh, the rank i have ranked them in a what way, I don't know. It was question four first, now it's question one, but we will be doing here all the complete questions. I don't think so that r ranking matters here. So the options are, which of the following descriptions delineate Roman Eclef, novel with the novel? First option is a novel depicting the life of an artist from childhood to maturity. Second option is a novel using the altered names of the actual people of the time. Third one, a uh, novel describing historical incidents with fictional characters. D, a novel giving the effect of realism by highlighting the social problems of the time. So answer is, a Roman eclef is a novel which depicts real world people and events with fictional names, for example, animal farm. So this is about the Russian revolution, right? Uh, which was uh, which happened around 1917. This animal farm is the novel by the George Orwell. So what we do here is that we try to bring real people with the with their uh, fictional names. Like I want to share a story about my own life. I, I I I want to tell a story about my own life. So what I will do is every single character who is in my life, whether it's my mother or brother or my father, I will introduce them with the different names right so people cannot know like it's a direct approach or towards them so you give them the fictional names right this is what roman eclef you show you portray your real life through a, a fictional facade a mask over it so the same thing here 
in this animal farm which is about the Russian Revolution which happened in the 1917 this novel is by George Orwell okay so uh, we have another form uh, of a novel there uh, one another uh, another literary genre of novel that is known as a buildings Roman right uh, so in this literary genre that focus on the psychological and moral growth of the protagonist from youth to adulthood examples a portrait of the artist as a young man so in this kind of novels you see the character you see the protagonist growing from his from his childhood to the adulthood the same thing happened here in the portrait of the artist you see this person growing as a as a child he goes to school and then when he he becomes younger or he enters into his adult life how was his perspective how he see each and every single institution out there right that how 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 religion and churches as are, are controlling his mind whatever he wants to do this is what we get to see in this kind of novels the growth of the protagonist right let's talk about the another question now which of the following periods of english literature is also called puritan interregnum your options are the new classical period i have also given its its dates here so it can be more easier for you right to relate uh, b the caroline age c the restoration d the commonwealth period and the answer is the commonwealth period is also known as the puritan interregnum of english literature it, it includes the literature produced during the time of puritan leader oliver cromwell so oliver cromwell was the king during this time like he was the he was a leader this period produced the political writings of john milton thomas hobbes political treatises leviathan this is the one of the most important prose work right and i have discussed them everything in the most important aspects into my notes right so it can be easy for you to retain them and the prose of andrew marvel uh andrew marvel also wrote this uh as this coinus there this poem right uh in september of 1642 the puritans closed the theaters on moral and religious grounds for the next 18 years the theaters remained closed accounting for the lack of drama produced during this time period all right so the right option is the commonwealth period uh its date was 1642 to 1660 and during this period theaters were closed on the moral and religious grounds another one we have here is which of the following plays by ben johnson ends with the performance of a puppet play in imitation of marlowe's hero and leander so first option is the alchemist 1610 these are the dates uh volponi bath mellow fair every man in his humor so the right option is bath mellow fair a comedy in five acts ends with a puppet performance in imitation of marlowe's hero and leander it's an anti puritan play right this is the anti puritan play okay so the one of the most important characters i have also mentioned here from this uh, from this work from this play right they can be asked in your exam because as they asking them so character is john little wit win the fight little wit win the fight little wit is the wife of john little wit another two characters which are important here is the grace wellborn and the dame peercraft so the right option now you know is the barth mellow fair and the publishing date is 1614 as i told you that there is a ranking problem of this question like 9 is coming before 2 so i i don't think so it is bothering you because the main focus is on the question so which two of the following novels belong to the victorian age in english literature which two of the following novels belong to the victorian age in english literature first one is the pendennis second one is the the way of the flesh third one is the battle of the books fourth one is the barchester towers so which one belongs to the victorian age the answer is pendennis 1848 by william makepeace thackeray and barchester towers 1857 by thomas trollope are victorian age novels right 
so these two are the victorian age novels other two are here uh, are not from the they were not published uh, during this period as we know that J J jonathan swift is the one who wrote the battle of the books and which was published in the 1704 another one is the the way of the flesh written by the samuel butler was published in 1903 even though it was maybe written during this uh, victorian age but it was published uh, later in 1903 as this age runs from 1837 to 1901 okay so let's talk about the other one here from whose work did john milton take the epigraph to his arrow pagetica right this is the most important work by john milton which was uh, written about when there was no freedom for presses to to publishing right uh, they had a control over it so your first option is a sophocles euripides plato and d option is more and the answer is milton's aeropagetica 1644 which talks of freedom of speech as a key to the idea of liberty gets its epigraph from euripides the suppliants milton by no means supported a general freedom for the press or, or tolerance of free speech in aeropagetica he encouraged the extirpation of roman catholicism and its writings and he served himself as the censor for mercurius politicus the commonwealth's primary newspaper of general circulation in the 1650s so uh, so so mercurius politicus is the commonwealth's primary newspaper you also remember it okay so as you know the right option is b euripides now in which of the following essays did charles lamb first use the pseudonym persona alia your options are my first play the two races of men third one is a new year's eve the south sea house and the alia is the name uh, which is used for charles lamb this is his his pseudonym so in which of his work he used this name it is a pseudonym first time used in the south sea house lamb himself is the alia and the sister mary is the cousin bridget right so cousin bridget was the name of his sister mary she was uh, uh in the asylum right she was there because she has some mental health issues so it was a great bond between brother and sister at the end uh maybe it was in the essay of alia when he uh when he takes her to the asylum or uh, they have their their crying faces because they cannot they cannot do anything because she was suffering because of this mental health issue so this is a quite a emotional okay so essay of alia is published in 1823 uh, south sea house is one of the essay which is there in the essays of alia and they were published in the 1823 so make sure you remember its publishing date as well so the south sea house is the right option in which of the following works is the character Ariel exclusion? So in which of these plays we don't have the character called Ariel, right? There is a one play, there is a one work which does not have the character Ariel. Which one of the work is that? Is it The Tempest or Paradise Lost? rape of the lock or rhyme of the ancient manner i have given its date there so it can be easy for you because to attempt your chronological based questions right so the right answer is i think you know that in uh, in your paradise loss we have the ariel one of the characters there and uh, the tempest we have ariel who is uh, serve who served to uh, this uh, character there called prospero right so coleridge the rhyme of the ancient mariner does not have any character called ariel shakespeare the tempest 
Milton's Paradise Lost, Alexander Pope's The Rape of Locke all have character named Ariel. In Shakespeare, The Tempest, Ariel is a spirit who works in Prospero's service, whereas in John Milton's Paradise Lost, Ariel is one of the fallen angels who accompany Saturn and in Alexander Pope's The Rape of the Locke, Ariel is one of the comic protectors of the heroine Belinda, right? So all of these works are also important, right? So right option is The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner published in the 1798. Okay, so which of the following is a collaborative work of W.H. Auden and Christopher Isherwood? So first one is the letter from Iceland. Letter from Ireland, uh, Iceland is the travelogue, is a prose work, right? Then we have The Death of the Dance. This is the 1933. This is the one act play by W.H. Auden. Next one we have is The Ascent of F656. F6. The Ascent of F6. What's wrong with my tongue? The Ascent of F6. The D, The Orators. So, Orators is a poem. So, I think now it's very easy for you to find out. Ascent of F6, 1936, a tragedy in two acts which tells the story of the climber Michel Ransom who becomes the leader of an expedition to the peak of F6 located in the imaginary country of Ostina. Right option is the ascent of F6. Now the final one. Which two names from R.M. Ballantyne's Coral Island 1857, which was published, are repeated in William Golding's reworking of the same text as Lord of the Flies, 1954. First option is Ralph, second Roger, third Jack, and fourth is this Simon. So, which one of them are repeated in the William Golding's work, Lord of the Flies? These two characters were there in the R.M. Ballantyne's Coral Island and also in the Lord of the Flies. So name the two. I hope you know the answers. This is Ralph and Jack. So let's talk about the Golding's work Lord of the Flies. So Lord of the Flies by William Golding is a novel in which a group of schoolboys are stranded on a, a desert island and attempt to establish their own society. Ralph, the elected leader, argues that the main goals should be to have fun, survive, and maintain a smoke signal to catch the attention of potential recursor. And there is one important thing that who will ha have the have the conch, right? They will have the authority to speak. And uh, next one is uh, the boys lose interest in the daily task. Right. So as they were told to keep the fire on there, so, you know, it, it, it can, it will be working as a signal. So it will catch the attention of the, of the potential rescuers who are, who are coming there on ships. But the boy lose interest in the daily task. Ralph assigns like building shelters and instead play and hunt pigs, right? Instead of playing and hunting pigs they should build shelters and they didn't like kids are kids they don't have interest in such a serious works when another boy jack defies ralph's authority the boys degenerate into savagery and set fire to the island a ship nearby sees the smoke and rescues them this is also a great movie i have watched it you must watch it uh, you will also got to know about this uh, this novel and also about the hidden layers uh, which cannot be seen just by reading a summary. I hope you're liking this series of BYQ analysis. If you think that I need to do some improvements, whether it is in terms of sound or anything, please let me know below in the comment section. If you like it, make sure you like it. Share with other people so they can also be benefited with this. And if you want each and every single option and each and every single question subject which I have discussed in the short detailed notes, which I used for my own exam, which le let me score 99.32 percentile in my own net exam. So you can have them. Just contact me below, which I have given in the below in the description box. Right. So thanks for watching my professor note signing off.